Welcome to HelpYourMath.com. This video is a continuation of the correlation coefficient in which we'll be finding the regression equation of the correlation chart. Now, last time we had all these data values with the sum of x being 30, the sum of y being 48, the sum of x times y being 295, the sum of x squared 186, and the sum of y squared at 474, while our n equals 5. Now to get the regression equation, the predicted value equation, we have y hat equals b1, which is the slope, times x, plus b0, which is the y-intercept. So here I'll just notarize that. b1 is the slope of the equation, while the b0 is the y-intercept. Now to calculate these two values, there are two equations we can use that contain these sums to assist us so we can get the b1, the slope, and also the b0, the y-intercept. Now the equation for the slope is similar to the correlation equation with minor differences, right? The numerator is the same as the correlation coefficient, n times the sum of x, y minus the sum of x times the sum of y divided by just part of the correlation coefficient, which is going to be just the n times the sum of x squared minus the sum of x bn squared. Now be careful when you're inserting this, as this is the sum of the value, x squared, while the second term here is just the sum of x, bn squared. All right, let's calculate this. So now here we go for the slope. We have b1 is equivalent to 5 times. Now the sum of xy is 295. We'll just write this in. And the sum of x is just 30 while the sum of y is just 48. All of this is going to be divided by the n, which is 5, the sum of x squared, which is 186, subtracted by the sum of x, again, which is right on top, this is 30 bn squared. So let's calculate what we get on top now, right? 5 times 295 is 1,475, while 30 times 48 would give us 1,440. In the denominator here, we have 5 times 186. That's going to give us 930. And 30 squared is 900. So be, use, be sure to use a calculator while you're calculating these to calculate them with accuracy. And also, don't forget that when you're doing this on a calculator, you want to calculate everything on top and everything on bottom and resolve them one at a time before you actually divide. As some calculators may take a mistake while you're dividing them, all right? So here our B1 is going to give us 1475 minus 1440, that's going to be 35. And on the bottom here in the denominator, we have 930 minus 900, which is just 30. When we divide these two, we see they have common factors, and this can be reduced if you want to make this easier for yourself, to 7 over 5. Actually, 7 over 6, not 5. And dividing this, we're going to get a repeating decimal. So this will become 1.1666 continue. This we're going to round up to the fourth place. As this continually goes to 666, this last 6 will become a 7. Because as this continues forever to get a four digit number, we need this to be 1.1667 and 7. So there we have our slope. Uh, the only thing missing so we can complete this equation is our value of b0. There's a really short formula to do this for the y-intercept. So the b0 value is just the sum of y minus b1 value times the sum of x, all divided by n. So this is actually just a very short formula, really easy to calculate as well. We'll take into account the sum of x, the sum of y, the value of n, and these are the only three we need in combination with the b1. So here we're going to have just 48. Take away the slope value once it's rounded up. 1.1667. And this is going to be multiplied by 30. And everything here is going to be divided by 5. So this takes a bit of calculation, but just be patient. You should be just fine while doing this. And here we're going to have the value of b0 is 48 minus the product of 1.1667 and 30, which is exactly 35.001. And then we also have the 5 in the denominator still. 
Uh, if you're still using that calculator, all you have to do is subtract these two top numbers. And here we're going to get the value of 12.9999. This number is very close to 13. Had this not been there, the difference between 48 and 35 is just 13. But with this little decimal here, we're going to get this result. Now for the final division, once we divide 12.999 by 5, what we're going to get here is 2.5. Nine, nine, and eight. And there we have our y-intercept. Now to complete the equation of the line, it's pretty straightforward. All we're going to do is we're going to take this equation, we're going to substitute our b1, which is 1.667, and we're going to insert our b0. So here we'll have y hat equals 1.1667x. Plus, since the y-intercept is positive, we keep this positive, 2.5998. That's our final value for our equation of the predicted value equation. All right, there's our regression equation line. Thank you.